In this video we demonstrate a robust gesture recognition and parameter extraction approach for very low-cost tactile surface sensors which we apply in gesture-based online robot programming. The raw data measured by the tactile surface sensor are shown in the top video frame and the gesture execution in the bottom frame. After pre-processing the sensor data a graph representing the evolution of contact points on the sensor is computed. Redundant and invalid paths are discarded by applying different distance and overlap criteria. Splines are fitted through the remaining paths, yielding space curves. Subsequently, a so-called phi tau r representation is computed for each curve. This representation is invariant with respect to translation, rotation, geometric and time scaling. Based on the phi tau r representation, first each curve, and subsequently the entire gesture is classified and labeled. The label is then mapped to a robot motion or tool command. Parameters of the command, such as gripper forces, direction vectors and velocities, are extracted from the space curve representation. After parameterization, the command is executed by a robot, as demonstrated in the following examples. Complex motion commands, for instance this plane alignment command, can be specified by location-dependent gestures in an intuitive and natural manner. Simple joint motion commands, as this rotation of the first joint, can be taught with ease as well. Task-based motion can be specified intuitively by simple line gestures, whose location and orientation determines the motion to be executed. To stop the currently executed command, a press gesture is used. Force-controlled grasps can be taught by two finger gestures. In the first grasp gesture, Low forces are applied on the sensor, whereas in the second one, higher forces are exerted, thus tightening the grasp. In this manner, parameters of robot commands can be adapted interactively without explicitly specifying numerical values. To evaluate the potential of gesture-based robot programming, our approach is currently being evaluated in a user study. Comparing it to established approaches, such as kinesthetic teaching and MCP programming.